So today I'm going to be teaching you how to install a Fabric mod pack and a Forge mod pack so that you can play it on the SK launcher. So starting off, you're going to need to have Java installed on your computer and you're going to need to have Curse Forge to download and install any mod packs and you're going to need SK launcher to play your mod pack. The three links, the three links to download these are provided in the description below and I'm going to show you how to install them. So I'm gonna head over to the Java website to download the to download to download and install Java for your computer. And you're gonna to need to download the Windows 64 bit version, which allows you to locate more RAM to your game. So just uh, save it to your desktop or somewhere else that you might prefer. And I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. So once you double click the installer, a prompt is going to pop up uh, and you're going to need to press yes in order for it to install. Once you have it downloaded, you should double click it and install. I've already, I've already had it downloaded on my computer, so I'm not going to install it again. But you need to make sure that you have it installed in order to be able to play Minecraft. So moving on, you need to install Curse Forge, which would take you to this website. And click this button over here, and you should be able to download your Curse Forge installer. And once you have it downloaded, you can open it up once you have it downloaded it should show you a screen like this and you should click into minecraft and select browse mod packs there are a lot and a lot of different mod packs that you can install on Chris Forge but for today's video I'm going to be showing you how to install a Forge mod pack called Crucial 2. So uh, this works for any mod pack that you want to install, but you have to first uh, find out uh, one mod pack that you want to install and take note of their game version and their Forge version, which should show up somewhere along here. And you should click install and let it download. and wait for it to finish. I'm going to cut back when it's uh, done. And once it's done, you're going to need to click into the profile and take note of the game version and the Forge version. And you're going to head on over to the Forge website to download the Forge version for the particular mod pack. And take note that every mod pack will have a different Forge version that they will use, so you need to keep this version in mind. And once you're on the Forge website, you should search for the game version of the modpad you're trying to look for and click on it and click show all versions and look at the version that the modpack offers, which is 36.2.33. Now try to look for it in the versions here and see I've located it and hit the installer to begin downloading it and save it to somewhere that you can access. I'm going to save it to my desktop so that I can access it easier. And I've actually downloaded it already, so I'm not going to download it again. So once you have the installer, you could double click it. And a little window will pop up, which will tell you to uh, either install it on your client or your server. So for this video, you're going to need to install it on a client and make sure the directory is correct that it's in your .minecraft folder and then click OK and wait for it to download. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. And next up, you're going to need to open up your SK Launcher, which I, uh, I'm assuming that you already have it downloaded. And now head to Chris Forge. 
click back to Minecraft and right click on the mod pack that you downloaded here and click open folder. So you're going to uh, be seeing the, all these files that are downloaded, which are which includes the mods and like configs and stuff. You're going to need to go over to instances and copy this entire folder. And now you're going to need to go to your dot Minecraft directory, which can be accessed through typing percent app data percent, pressing enter, and you can see your dot Minecraft folder in here. Once you're in the dot Minecraft directory, you're going to be seeing all these uh, files over here and you're going to need to create a new folder. And I've already created mine here uh, and I call it mod packs. You can call it anything you want, but I've called mine mod packs so that I can see it uh, easier. It would be easier for me to see it. And paste, uh, you don't need to worry about uh, this folder here. These are previous mod packs that I've downloaded before. You just need to paste the folder that you downloaded. As you can see here, it takes a little while. All right. So once it's downloaded, you can just uh, leave it be and head on over to your SK launcher and go to profiles here and click on the plus and you can call your profile any name you want and I'm just going to call mine 1.16.5 crucial 2 and for the version over here you need to head over to custom and look for the forge version that you installed that matches the modpacks forge version which was 36.2.33 for crucial 2 and for the game directory you need to click on it it's going to be uh, she's gonna show up that it's in dot Minecraft and gonna head on over to the folder that you created. Uh, in my case, it will be mod packs, and click on the mod pack folder that you've got to copy and pasted, and select folder, and then save profile. And now you've completed, it and you can just click on play, and wait for it to load, and you're done. And now moving on, I'm going to show you how to install a fabric mod pack. So head on over to Chris Forge and go over to browse mod packs. And uh, you can search for <coughs> any fabric mod pack by just typing fabric. But it's usually not that good of a tool to search uh, every fabric mod pack there is because there are some mod packs that uses fabric but doesn't have fabric in its name. So, for example, for today, I'm going to be installing a Fabric mod pack called uh, Fabulously Optimized. So, essentially, this mod pack only has mods that improves your performances in the game, and I'm going to go to, and I'm going to go ahead and click install. And I'm gonna wait for it to install. So, after finishing your download to mod pack, you can uh, click inside and take a look at the mod loader version, and head on over to the Fabric website to install the installer, and just click download and save it at a place that you can access easily. For for me, I'm gonna download in desktop. And I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. So once you have it downloaded, you can double click it to open up the installer. And here you can choose to install for client or server. Since we're going to be playing a mod pack, we're going to be installing the client version of it. So uh, you can head on over back to the mod pack. Uh, on Chris Forge and take a look at the game version as well as the mod loader version. So you need to make sure that the game version and the mod loader version matches uh, to what is selected here and then hit install. So once it's installed, all right, and now you're gonna head on back to Chris Forge and right click on the mod pack that you downloaded and click open folder. 
and head on over to instances and right click on the mod pack that you downloaded and click on copy and now you're gonna head over to your .minecraft directory which you can access up here by typing percent at data percent enter and you're gonna head over to .minecraft now in this directory you're gonna need to create a new folder and you can call it whatever you want you can, uh, for me personally I would like to call it mod pack now I already have one created here so I'm gonna uh, delete this one here that I just created but what you need to do is after creating the folder you're gonna head inside it and you're gonna paste the mod pack that you have downloaded into into the uh, into the folder that you created so I already pasted it before here so after you have pasted the mod pack folder you're gonna head on to SK launcher And now you're gonna click on this plus sign over here, and you can uh, name your mod pack any way you want. And for the version, you're gonna click on custom, and select the fabric loader version that matches the one on Chris Forge. And for this mod pack, it's zero point fourteen point six, which is the one. Uh, scene over here and now for the game directory you're gonna click on it and it's gonna bring you to your dot minecraft directory and you're gonna head on over to the folder that you created the mod pack folder and select the mod pack that you have copied and pasted and click select folder and save profile and now you're done you can just go on and press play